Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your player to move up and down stairs in the Blender game engine. So here I have my little game. If I make my character move forwards, he moves up the stairs and to the next level. So very nice and simple and very easy to use. So let's get started. Right here I have my starting dot blend. So if you want to go ahead and get that, there'll be a link down in the description below. Otherwise, I'm sure many of you will want to use this in your own stairs, which you have in your own games. So right here we have a nice looking staircase. We have level 2 and we have level 1. All of them are unnamed. So first of all, I'm going to name level 1. So over here, object settings, and I'll call this level 1. This here I'll call level 2. And this here I'll call stairs. Okay, stairs, like that. And so now, if we look at our stairs here, you can see they're very jagged, uh, very extreme up and down and there's not really much chance a player is going to be able to move up that without glitching something out. So unless you have a Python script which determines where their feet go or something like that, I don't think you'd really be able to get away with doing this very easily. So the best thing to do is with the stairs selected, uh, make this window bigger over here and select the physics tab. Then make sure it's on no collision. So if yours are set to static right now, what you need to do is over here change it to no collision. So shift A and then here I'm going to add a plane. So what this plane will be is it will be our stairs physical representation. So as you can see here, the stairs have no collision but this plane here will be static which means that it will collide with the player instead of the stairs. So here what I might do is call this collision stairs so the collision for the stairs and then what I'm going to do is press RX to rotate it on the X axis something like that then I'm going to press numpad 3 to go into side view and then down here I'm going to select wireframe so we can see what we're doing and then I'm going to press S Y and Y again to do it on the local axis and move it out it's annoying because you can't see how much you're scaling uh, but something like that, maybe a little bit less so S, Y and then Y again move it in a bit so numpad 3 for side view and now we want to align this with our stairs so roughly in the middle and then S, Y and Y again maybe we'll go into this view so we can see what we're doing then hold down shift to scale it in small increments and basically what we want is, if I press numpad 3, we want the slope here to be just underneath. So what I'm going to do is press R to rotate, and we'll even this out first of all. Okay, so something like that. Then I'm going to press G to move, hold down shift to move it in small increments, and then I'm going to move it just underneath. Okay, so we'll scroll in a bit press G again and hold down shift and we'll move it just underneath like that okay so we have that part set out what's very important is that this doesn't go over so if I go into solid view here for example if this here reaches over the top like that when a player drops down into this level and he wants to go back down the stairs he'll get stuck against this and won't be able to go down so that's why we have to try keep it just underneath to stop him from falling through but also to allow him to pop onto the level and pop back down. That's the important part for that, however down the bottom here you'll notice it goes straight through, that is not a problem at all. It's better if it goes straight through at the bottom instead of just because again that might get your player stuck if he can't actually get up the stairs in the first place. So down the bottom here if that goes underneath that's completely fine and then I'm going to press S X to scale it on the X axis and I'm just going to get a nice even plane like that now if you have a wall on this side or a wall on this side which will stop your player from going through definitely don't hesitate to put this into the walls what that means is then the player won't be able to go through the stairs or through the wall so don't worry about scaling that out a little bit too much and then what we're going to do is press shift A and here we're going to add a cube. This is going to be our player and so I'm going to move him over here, move him up a bit and then over here under cube I'm going to call him player. 
Then I'm going to scroll along to the physics tab here and I'm going to select character. So instead of dynamic like we always do, for this to work for stairs you have to select character. Okay, and I'm going to make him an actor and that should all be fine. Now one thing I need is some controls. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to select game logic and this is already in texture view so if it isn't you can go over here go to texture view so it looks nice and then what I'm gonna do is under the player so select the player then here we're gonna add a keyboard sensor then my key here for him to go forward I'm just gonna press W and this will be on a true pulse then over here on this side I'm gonna add a motion join the two together like so and what I want to do is make my player go forwards. So if we have a look at our axes here, you can see positive Y, positive X, and positive Z. And then negative is the opposite. Okay, so we want them going forward, which is positive Y. If you don't know which one it is, down here in the corner we have Z, X, and Y. So you can see which one it is. So here what we're going to do is put point 0.1. Now, actually, this is wrong. What we need to do for the motion type, instead of simple motion, we want it to be character motion. So, simple motion isn't going to work with the slope, so we need to make sure it's character motion. Then over here, under the location, we'll set it to point 0.1. And so now if we scroll out, press P, and press W, our player will move up the slope. And there we go, on the second level. So now what we can do is go along to the physics tab and we can give him some collision bounds down here. Okay, so now we can press P and now we can move up the slope. As you noticed before, when the collision bounds were off uh, and we press B, you notice that the player is almost going through the slope, which doesn't look too nice. Uh, so you can turn on collision bounds. However, there is one almost downside to collision bounds and that's if you let go, he starts sliding. However, if sliding isn't really a problem and your player probably won't be standing still on stairs anyway, then what you can do is turn on collision bounds. However, if you want them to stand still, turn off collision bounds. So now if you press P uh, and stop in the middle of the stairs, he stays still. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's how to get a player moving up and down between two levels. Now what you do is select the plane here, or the physical representation of the stairs, and then under the physics, select actor, and select invisible. Okay, so now if we press P, press W, it'll look like our character is going up the stairs. So, there we go guys, that's how to get a character moving up and down stairs in the Blender Game Engine. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, or share. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe, that would also be awesome. If your one didn't work out, there will be a link down in the description of a working copy. Also, if you guys have any problems, be sure to post a comment and I'll try to help you guys out. But either way, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.